Hey guys, what is up? Today I'm going to show you how to install Windows 7 Professional, or really any edition of Windows 7, they all install the same, as well as Windows Vista, in a virtual machine on Oracle VM VirtualBox, on an Intel-based Mac running Snow Leopard, or any version of Mac OS X that has a Intel processor. So the first thing you're going to want to do is start VirtualBox from your Applications folder or wherever you have it installed and click on this button here that says new. This will bring up the wizard for setting up your new virtual machine. So you can name it whatever you want to name it. I'm just going to name it Windows 7. And it's the 32-bit version. You can select Windows 7 32-bit or 64-bit. So I'm just going to choose the 32-bit version and click continue. You can adjust the um, RAM, so I'm going to adjust it just to one gigabyte. That should be fine for the setup and the primary use of the virtual machine. So what you're going to do is click continue and it's going to bring you the hard drive. This is where you're going to create your hard drive. So what you're going to want to do is click create and you're going to have your hard drive file type. This is a VirtualBox disk image which you can use for just VirtualBox. You can select any type of format here that you'd like to use. Uh, for this video the VDI should be fine. So we're going to click continue and make it dynamically allocated so that it takes up the size of your hard drive as it needs it limited to the amount of space you give it. If you use a fixed size it's just going to create like a say you give it a 30 gig drive it's going to take a 30 gigabyte chunk of your hard drive. So click on dynamically allocated and then click continue and you can adjust this to whatever you want. I'm just going to move it up to 60 gigs letting it use 60 gigabytes of space over time if it needs it. Then just click create and now you'll see this screen. This is just all the information about the virtual machine. What I'm going to do then is go into settings so that I can get the Windows 7 effects or just basically better graphics. And I'm going to click on the display button. And I'm going to allow 3D acceleration and change this to... We'll give it about 64 megabytes of RAM for the video and then we'll change this too. So now we'll just click OK and now we'll start the operating system. Now when you start the virtual machine for the first time you're going to get the select startup disk wizard here. Click this little button here that has the folder with the green arrow if you're using a ISO file. If you're using your hard, uh, disk or uh, optical drive the, where it says host drive and then whatever your disk drive's name is that should be fine, you can just leave it at that. But I'm using an ISO file, so I'm going to click here to bring it up. So what you're going to do here is click on to the directory of where you have it saved. So I have it on the desktop. So I'm just going to click Windows 7 Pro ISO and then just click open. So once you have it here, it will should say it right here and then you just click start. And now it will start the virtual machine as well as the Windows setup. As you can see here, it says Windows is loading files, and this is where it loads all the setup information uh, basically to start the setup application. It's going to let this start up here. As you see, it has that Windows 7 startup logo. And now we are at the Windows 7 installation uh, screen. This is just like the splash screen kind of thing for it. So here it says Windows 7, you could select your language, mine version is only English, and the time and currency is United States, and you can change those things to fit your needs. So then you're just going to click Next, and this here will tell you everything you need to know uh, about before installing Windows, and this here is to repair your computer in case of something were going wrong, but that's probably not going to apply in a virtual machine as much as it would on a physical computer. So what you're going to want to do now is just click install and wait for the next screen to pop up. This here is the license agreement for the operating system. Mine is Windows 7 Professional. So you just want to go down here and click uh, I, have, uh, I accept and the license and terms. You can read these if you want but that might take a while. So I'd click next and it says what type of installation do you want? You're going to want to do a custom installation unless if you're upgrading your operating system from a previous version of Windows in your virtual machine. 
Here is where you can change all the drive options, but where it says unallocated space, you could create a new one if you want, but it will do it automatically once you click next. Once you click next, the setup will uh, actually get to the installation part of it. Right now, it's done asking all the questions, and it's actually beginning the installation process. So once this operating system is installed, I will be back to continue the uh, video on how to get Windows 7 started up into the desktop and how to install VirtualBox Guest Editions, which are a necessity for installing in a virtual machine to have it work correctly. Alright guys, I'll be back when the time is ready. Alright guys, the operating system has successfully installed and now I'm just going to type a username so I'll just type in here uh, I'll just type VBox for this video and now I will click next and here it's going to tell you to set a password you don't have to just click next I always click install important updates only and we're going to adjust it to Eastern time because that's where I am and the clock is correct we'll click next and we'll tell it that we're at home and that we are going to let it connect and apply the settings that are needed to be connected and applied and then it should say finalizing your settings once this uh, is successfully completed Windows is finalizing your settings and then it will take you to the desktop Right now it just says welcome and it's logging into the uh, desktop right now as it's preparing my desktop because it's the first time it's been booted. and now we are at the desktop so what you're going to want to do now is click on devices and then install guest editions this is where it's going to install the things such as the graphics driver and the touchpad driver and all the other drivers that are, nece uh, that are necessary so what you're going to want to do is then click start if nothing comes up and you see here it'll say vbox guest editions on the cd drive so what you're going to do is just double click that and it'll take you into this folder and just click on this one here and it will load user account control is going to ask you what you want to do just click yes and it will bring up the installation wizard for uh, VirtualBox so what you're going to do is click next just leave the default stuff there and next and it should allow for uh, arrow effects on Windows 7 so what you're going to want to do then is just click here and click on install and now it will install the guest editions and the drivers So now it's installing the video driver for everything, uh, for the operating system and the virtual machine. So now it will continue to install the rest of the drivers. Now once the uh, wizard has been completed, it'll ask you to reboot. You're going to run a reboot now just in case if you modify anything these might not work. So now it is shutting down and it should boot up again rather quickly because not that intensive stuff has been installed.
and now it should be booting. It's just applying some registry updates. Now this may or may not happen to you, but it depends on if your computer installs an update or two while it is in the rebooting stage. Now these scroll bars won't be here once the guest editions are actually started automatically. It should automatically resize to the appropriate size window. If it doesn't, you can always move it and basically it'll force it to do that. So there you go, you now have the guest editions installed and you can probably enable arrow which apparently I can't at the moment uh, but you should be able to, at least I know you can on Mountain Lion. Alright guys, um, this is installing Windows 7 on a virtual machine in VirtualBox and some more videos will be following up soon so just Remember to like, share, comment, rate, subscribe, and all that stuff, and I'll talk to you guys again real soon.